So when testing a series and you're trying to decide what test to use, uh, there's sort of a few questions you want to ask yourself. So the first one is, uh, do the terms get small? Because if the answer is no, then we can use the divergence test and show, th which says that if the terms don't get small, there's no way that the series can converge, right? Okay, so let's say they do get small. Then the next thing we might want to say is, is it alternating? Because if it is, then we can use the alternating series test, which has the advantage that it's very easy to do. All you have to do is make sure that the limit of the individual terms goes to zero and that the, uh, that each term gets subsequently smaller. Uh, which is much easier to do than any of the other tests. So if not, then th we sort of want to look at what type of thing we're looking at. If we're looking at something that has um, uh, factorials in it, for example, if yes, we're almost certainly going to want to use ratio test because nothing else that we've worked with really works particularly well with um, with, with factorials. Uh, likewise, if it's, uh, if it's all geometric, then we might want to use the ratio test because the ratio test works really well with geometric series. So if not, then we can look at it further and say, is it similar to, is it like a P-series or is it like a geometric series but maybe it has something like an extra, uh, you know, an extra term in there or an extra something being added. If the answer is yes there, then we can go to the limit comparison test. Or if you really wanted to, you could use the direct comparison test also. So if the answer is no there, then we're sort of getting into the, into the, you know, questionable zone, but luckily we don't get down here too often. Uh, so first question we might say is, well, is it, uh, something I can integrate? I mean, if it is, then, heck, use the integral test, right? Uh, but most of the time, we don't need to do that because we can use, uh, one of these at previous tests. Uh, you could also, uh, you know, if, if maybe there's something like a cosine term in there, uh, maybe we can go to a direct comparison, but it's fairly rare for that to happen. Almost all the time, uh, we're either going to hit something that's an alternating series test or ratio test or can be done with limit comparison. The thing to remember with the ratio test is if it doesn't work out for you, if you come up with a result that's inconclusive, then try something else. Try the limit comparison test and chances are it's going to work a lot better.